Okay, y'all. Thank you so much for watching my channel. We're going to get a little up close and personal tonight because I wanted to film outside and to do so, I have to have a really bright light on me and I have to be really close to the camera so it will pick up on me and not look like I'm just moving in some kind of slow motion craziness. Um, so I wanted to cover some urgent missing person cases. If you follow me on Patreon, there is an early, early release video on there for y'all. Um, that is for the future, but with this being urgent cases, I wanted to go ahead and get those out there. Um, so that is why it is coming out a little earlier than my early release to my Patreons. And a lot of y'all ask how you can get in contact with me, and you can do so by um, several different ways. The first one being um, messaging me on Patreon. I'm not sure if you have to be a follower of me on Patreon or if you can just message me. Um, otherwise, you can email me at coleytyler10 at gmail.com. And another way is also to message me on here. So let's get started with today's urgent missing person cases. Though this is the oldest of the four urgent missing person cases that I'm covering tonight, this is definitely one of the most bizarre cases that I have researched since the Brandon Lawson case. And that is saying a lot. Um, on May the 22nd, 2018, 26 year old Ryan Grable called 911 to report that he was following a car that was previously following him in Kern County. Ryan was headed to Corona, California. Ryan Elliott Grable is originally from Sacramento, California. His red Chrysler C ring with a hard top was located the next day, May the 23rd, 2018, abandoned on a dirt road just a few miles off of Highway 46 and Interstate 5 in Lost Hills, California. The driver's side door was open and all of his belongings, including his cell phone, were left inside, but his wallet was missing, and so was Ryan. Ryan Elliott Grable is a Caucasian male and is described as 6 feet tall and 185 pounds. He has brown hair and blue eyes. Ryan has a tattoo on his left hand and the inner index finger and thumb of the numbers 916. Now, Ryan Grable's family has set up a Facebook page in order to obtain tips or leads regarding his case or possibly hopefully find Ryan um, and also they have a GoFundMe page set up. They're only asking for $500 which is a very minute amount. They just want to get flyers out there and possibly um, more money to get toward a PI to help locate Ryan. So both of those are linked below as well as Ryan's name is profile and um, Hopefully, his family gets answers soon and they do find Ryan alive and well. If you have any information regarding his case, you're urged to contact the Kern County Sheriff's Office or the Sacramento County Sheriff's Department, both listed below. Natasha Maurice Mothers was last seen around 5 a.m. On August the 12th, 2018, Natasha is missing from the city of Adams, Wisconsin. It is believed that she may be headed towards Chicago, Illinois. Natasha Maurice Mothers is a Caucasian female and is 15 years old. She is described as 5'4 and 105 pounds. She has brown hair and blue eyes. She has a pierced tongue and eyebrow. It is unknown what she was wearing when last seen, and little information is available regarding her case. Now, this is not the first time that Natasha has ran away from home. She disappeared on April the 9th, 2018, but was found shortly after. If you have any information regarding her whereabouts or case, you're urged to contact the City of Adams Police Department listed below. 
35-year-old Jeremy Lawrence was described as a devoted husband and father to young children. He was last seen in Lynchfield Park, Arizona on July 16th of 2018. Jeremy, along with his 2008 Dodge truck with Arizona plates CAG6054, were last seen at the Circle K gas station in Litchfield Park, Arizona. Jeremy is described as a Caucasian male that is 6'2 and 245 pounds. He has brown hair and blue eyes. When last seen, Jeremy was wearing a red shirt and black shorts. His tattoos are pictured here. If you have any information regarding Jeremy Lawrence's whereabouts or case, you are urged to contact the Phoenix Police Department listed below. Our last case is that of 17-year-old Destiny LaShawn Lane, who was last seen in Douglasville County, Georgia on July the 24th, 2018. Destiny LaShawn Lane has both of her ears pierced. It is not known what she was wearing at the time of her disappearance, and she is believed to have been a runaway at this time. She is described as an African-American female who is 5'4 and 140 pounds. Her hair is brown and so are her eyes. If you have any information regarding your case or whereabouts, you are urged to contact the Douglas County Police Department listed below. Thank you all so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not already. And give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to share it so we can get more eyes on these cases. And as always, my PayPal and Patreon are linked below if you would like to join me on those. Um, it is much appreciated. I will catch you guys on my next video. Have a great night.